Um, my name is Lisa Warner, and this is my husband. Chuck Warner. So I'm Bill Fisher. I'm Zach Smith. I'm Lou Bordiso. My name is Sarah Towie, and I'm here from Northern California, and it's my first year here. I'm very excited to be here. Hi, I'm Patricio Betty from Sacramento, California. It's such a high. My name is Linda Verdesno, and I am here in Washington, D.C., advocating for my parents who have um, Alzheimer's disease or a form of dementia. Um, my mother has Alzheimer's disease and my father recently passed away from um, Parkinson's with Lewy body dementia. We're here attending um, the conference because we're excited to be meeting with our legislators. Um, Chuck was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. It's had a, um, a very significant negative impact on our family and we want to prevent this from happening for future families and future generations. And I'm here today at the Alzheimer's Association Advocacy Forum because of my grandmother who was diagnosed with younger onset Alzheimer's disease several years ago. And that um, caused me to have a great passion for advocacy on this issue. And I began to realize more and more that as the disease increases in trajectory, it's gonna be my generation whose responsibility it's gonna be financially and personally. And I'm here in Washington, D.C. today to tell my legislators that my generation cannot face the financial and emotional toll of Alzheimer's disease. I'm here at the advocacy forum to draw awareness to Alzheimer's disease and other related dementias and for the hope that there will be a, a, a research smart spending uh, on the part of the government so we can find a cure for Alzheimer's someday to give myself and others living with Alzheimer's a sense of hope. My grandfather passed away from Alzheimer's disease almost 10 years ago, so I'm here for him, and I'm here for all of the families who are currently struggling with this disease. I've seen firsthand what it can do, and it's exciting that we're able to come here and share our stories and hopefully make a difference um, for future generations. You know, the Alzheimer's Association helped to introduce the National Alzheimer's Project Act. We dreamt of it, we helped to write it, we helped to get it passed. And out of that, we have the National Alzheimer's Plan, and it calls for meaningful treatments by 2025. And part of what we're after this visit is $200 million in additional federal funding for Alzheimer's research for the National Institutes of Health and promotion of our new bill, the Alzheimer's Accountability Act. Uh, wonderful. I, I encourage you to go to ALZ.org, learn more about it. It's a great event. Be part of this movement.